Welcome, my name is Dylan Young and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP and today we will be talking about how to install Sitecore Management Services with Docker. Uh, make sure if you are enjoying my video or will enjoy my video to subscribe and like today's video. That will be super helpful. So to get started with this, um, I'm going back to my Sitecore Docker training repository that I've been using. So we're gonna actually make changes to this so I have basically opened up code uh, to the side. So let's just open that up and bring that over. So last time we've done some other installations of other things inside our Sitecore solution here. You can do those as well, or you don't have to, you can do this kind of standalone as well. Uh, so don't worry about having to have all these defined. These are all other videos that I've been doing and if you want to install Horizon or you want to install Sitecron or Community Images, please definitely check out those videos as well. So let's get started with this. To install Sitecore Management Services, it's actually a relatively easy topic to cover because it doesn't actually contain any um, Sitecore items, it just contains file changes. So that makes it super simple. Uh, if for those that don't know what Sitecore Management Services is, it's basically the new type of serialization engine provided by Sitecore, uh, kind of a mix between TDS and Unicorn. So uh, kind of a useful tool, especially if you're working with newer uh, Sitecore instances. And since this is a 10.1, it makes a little bit more sense to talk about it. Uh, I will be doing more videos on specifically how to use the CLI and how to set up inside Visual Studio to start connecting to it and making changes to it. Uh, but that's not what I'm covering today. I'm just covering the simple topic of how to get it started with your Docker instance. So to start, we're going to actually make some changes to our Docker Compose override. So we're going to go into that file first. And this is where you're going to specify images. Um, we're actually going to specify a new build arg. Um, we're going to be using the asset images for Sitecore Management Services um, so that we can add it into our CM service or image um, for Docker. So it's a relatively simple process to do that. Uh, all we need to do is, is go to the CM, which we have uh, on our screen right now, and then we just need to add a new argument for the SMS image. So we'll just go here and do SMS image. And we're gonna specify and use this, the previous variable that I have specified here, the Sitecore Docker, Docker modules registry. For reference, I'll, I'll take a look at our environments variable um, or environments file, just so you can see what that's set to. But I will also reference in the Description below documentation that Sitecore provides on where you can get these what the, the the asset images paths are So just like I said, I'll finish that up and then um, For this for SMS all they have images for our asset images for our XM1 and XP1 uh, so because we're using an XP0 in this uh, training session, uh, we're going to use the XP, XP1 for that. It will be the equivalent image for XP1, XP0, and, and those variations of that. Um, if you are using an XM1 instance, then you would want to use the XM1 asset image for that. So I'll just specify the image here. We could set this as a variable, as I've mentioned previously in other uh, sessions, but uh, it's not necessary. And like I said, I'll list in the description the path to the documentation that Sitecore provides, uh, textual documentation, um, where you can get the names of these images. And so that's probably the, the thing to reference. It's 3.0 and 1809. All asset images are going to be 1809 uh, OS versions. So uh, we have specified that and it's pretty much set to go. Like I said, I'll just glance over here at the environment variables. What we have is this is what we're specifying. So just ser.sitecore.com slash sxp slash modules slash um, is what that variable represents. So just make sure that you have a variable defined or you could, don't have to have a variable defined if you don't want. But 
uh, it's better to use variables when you can. So all that's left uh, for this is now we need to go to our Docker file and we need to make that modification to basically pass in that argument that we're passing in. So we'll just do our SMS image and then we will do from SMS image and we'll just call this as uh, SMS. Doesn't matter what the name is, as long as it's consistent. And then lastly, all we really need for the SMS stuff is pretty straightforward. Um, we just need to copy the files from that image into our current image that we're building. So it's just as simple as pasting that in. Now, if you have other things to find here, again, it doesn't matter the order that you do these. You could, do, could, could have done this after all these steps. It doesn't matter. So, um, we're just basically taking files from our, um, actually this needs to be, so it just needs to match what we used up here. Um, it's just taking from the module CM slash content and it's overlaying those files into our, our CM instance or image that we're building. So that is it. So we'll save that and then we'll go back to a terminal and now we can do a, we need to do a Docker compose build. And I like to always run a no cache build. So we'll just do that. All right, as you can see, the build has completed. So in other videos, I've talked about how you should do a clean of the data. That's not necessarily required here because uh, we do not we ha we haven't installed any MS SQL changes uh, So we don't need fresh databases potentially, but I'm gonna do it just for this be on the safe side. So i um, just gonna run this clean data ps1 I Think it's a good idea to just do this when you're making changes to your instance and then we are going to do a docker compose up dash D for detached mode press enter all right, our instance is now up and running. So what we want to do is open up our browser before. So now we're just going to go over to cm.training.localhost.sitecore. And we're just going to verify that the environment is set up correctly. Uh, we got a 404. This is from our traffic environment. Uh, basically, the CM is not fired up yet, so we'll just give it a few seconds here. All right, we were able to get it fired up, and so we'll just log in with admin B. So if you get the 404, just be patient. Um, it will come back up in no time. All right, as we can see, our Sitecore instance is spun up. So because we've made changes that only affect the file system, there actually isn't anything we can see related to SMS in here. Um, but there is actually another way we could take a look. Um, we could look at the file system, um, but I won't go into that today. It should be there. Um, I will continue the next session using uh, the CLI and Visual Studio and showing how to get how to connect to it and start using it. Uh, so this concludes today's video. Hopefully you are successful getting this uh, working. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and good luck.